Unfortunately, my GoPro wasn't working while I was at the range. So I don't have a range video of these, but this is the overview at home of the uh, 6.5, 264, 120 grain Nosler E-tips from left to right was the high velocity load traveling at 2,845 feet per second where it started penetration with or uh, expansion sorry within a half inch of penetration and exited the gel block at approximately the 26 inch mark you have the larger portion of your permanent wound cavity from the one inch mark to the 10 inch mark where that larger section is three and a half inches so I'd say overall did good at higher velocity at the lower velocity it was traveling at 2098 feet per second which punched into the ballistics calculator would make that the equivalent of a 575 yard shot where it started its expansion at about five eighths of an inch um, great permanent wound cavity that large portion of that goes from that one inch mark to just past the 13 inch mark where the bullet then tumbled and what would technically be the leading edge of that bullet would be 21 and 5 eighths the largest portion of that permanent wound cavity is three and a half inches I'd have to say overall this bullet performed very well at a higher and lower velocity would definitely be a excellent uh, hunting option across the board in big game in the lower 48 out to that five to six hundred yard uh, max range limit knowing that it's going to perform um, I hope most of you are taking your shots within 300 yards as it's really not that hard to get within 300 yards of most of the animals we hunt in North America pull this bullet out here quick so we can take a peek at it definitely a decent mushroom for a copper bullet at that lower velocity great wound channel I have to say that's uh, I'm really happy with how that bullet performed